All right, here we go with number one. 60 beats per minute. Count of three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. All right. Number two. Changing strings, take your right hand, lay it across all six, so this way you don't hear any strings ringing out when you let go of them to transfer from one string to the next. 120, one, two, three. Legato heavy stuff, just pick it however, not a big deal uh, what direction you pick. It's really all about the left hand. 180, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Two forty. One, two, one, two, three. Four, not three. One, two, one, two, three, four. So number four, the chord theory stuff. Basically, you're just gonna fill in the chords that happen in key of C to start with. So you got your Roman numerals, your following. And I believe you already know what all those were. So you your <coughs> major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. So one, four, five, always major. Two, three, and six, always minor. Seventh chord is always diminished. So, for all the sharp keys, if you count up one, two, three, four, five notes, this note is the root note of the next key. And that happens every time. One, two, three, four, five. This note is the root note of the next key. For the flat keys, you go one, two, three, four, and that gives you the first note of this key. And then one, two, three, four, that gives you the first note of this key. So the fourth note will always be the new flat 
as you work through the flat keys. The seventh notes will always be the new sharp when you work through the sharp keys. Hit the letter A to input a chord. So make sure that your cursor is on the chord, or at least in the same space as the chord, to put it in the right spot. So mostly open chords, eventually use bar chords when needed. For the diminished stuff, just take the B diminished and F sharp diminished shapes you learned and just move those up and down like a bar chord to get them the, to the new diminished. So if any questions come up, let me know. I'll see you again next week.